I want you to go back to that moment and like really dig deep and tell us like what you were feeling. Like when you realize like, I don't want to do this shit anymore. And then I want you to tell us what that feeling felt like when you were able to tell one of your crew members that you put on TikTok mm -hmm. that I'm leaving, man. Like it's sad I'm leaving, but how did you feel in that moment that you got to walk out of that, those doors? Man. And you didn't have to worry about backing up an 18 wheeler ever again in your life. Yeah, because I'm not good at that. <laughs> uh, I think what did it for me was seeing how many people are living a life that is they're enjoying. And I'm just like, how did they do that? How do they pay their bills? I mean, I'm not even charging for what I do. How can I get to that point? Yeah. But what was happening was I was going home every seven days and I knew almost halfway through the, that time off that I, I got to go back. And I hated that. I hated leaving. And I was like, there's got to be, I got to figure this out. So I was trying to fit in training and I was yeah. trying to figure out a way to get out of Fouchon. And through that, I was not aware to what was going on in my relationship. And that in turn made me aware of things to where it's like, you're always trying to get to the next thing. And whenever I get to this point, then I'll be ready. And then I'll be planned out. It don't work like it that. It don't work like that. It don't work like that because time keeps moving. Yeah. So you're so focused and you're not present and you're not aware. And you think once you get to this point, everything will be peaceful. But as humans, we always going to be reaching for that next